All right, guys, Black is here. I'm supposed to be downstairs fixing my garage door that messed up yesterday, but I'm sitting here making YouTube videos. I have a video where I'm talking about the Ford 300, right? I have a couple videos talking about the Ford 300. You know, I asked this YouTuber, he left a comment. I don't remember what the comment was about. It's not important to me. It may still be there on the channel. But anyway, of course, he's talking about the 300. He's trying to defend the 300. I asked him a simple question. This question can be answered by anybody that knows how to make horsepower. If you know how to make horsepower, you can answer this question without Googling it. You can answer this question without sending me a link to a video that I've already seen before that somebody else sent. The funny thing is, the question I asked him, the video has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> so what was the question you asked? I said a 1996 F-150 with a 300 makes 150 horsepower, right? A 1996 F-150 with a 302 makes 199 horsepower. Why does the 302 make more horsepower? That's my question. He never answered it. Instead, he sent me a link to some guy drag racing an uh, inline six. What the hell does that have to do with the 302? I asked you a simple question. If you, if you, so many people swear up and down they know so much about engines. People come to my channel all the time telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. But then I ask them a simple question like this. They can't Google it because it's not out there anywhere. It's not out there anywhere. So they don't know it. People, <clears throat> people online, they only know what they can Google. And if they can't Google it, they don't know it. They change the subject. They want to know why you why you want to know the answer to that. Don't ask me why. Just answer the question. If you know what they say, answer the question. Answer the question, Claire. If you know it, answer the question. If you don't say, I don't know. A lot of people ask me stuff, and I tell them I don't know. I have no. I have no. Problem saying, I don't know. I don't feel bad because I don't know. If I don't know something, oh well. So, what's the answer to the question? Why does the 302 make 100, I mean, 199 horsepower, but the 300 only makes 150? Before I answer the question, let me tell you what some people are going to say. The, the, the 300 is a truck engine. The 302 is in a truck and it is a truck engine because well 96 ford wasn't using 302s in cars but the last time they put it in the car i think it was the 90 the same question is this why does the f-150 96 302 make 199 when the 91 302 that came in police crown vix only made 160 the same reason all three engines have different cams is what I'm saying. All three engines, and see, people think because the 300 is an inline C truck engine, it changes the laws of physics. It does not change. It does not matter whether it's a damn 300 four cylinder, 300 six cylinder, 300 VA, 302 VA. It does not matter. If you have one engine making 150 horsepower at 3,400 RPM or 3,600 RPM or whatever, I think it's 3,400 RPM, you have a three, inline six, you have a 302 V8 making 199 at 4,200 RPM. You have a 302 V8 making 160, I think it's 4,000 RPM, I think. So why does these three engines have different horsepower and different peaks? Because they all have different cams. Let's go back. 
The last Mustang that had a 302, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they had downrated the power to like 215. I quit caring about Mustangs when it came out with that body style in 94, I think. That to me was an ugly must. That Mustang was ugly. The only Mustang ugly, uglier than that one is when it came out and what that little small Mustang looked like a Pinto. Anywho, but the point I'm making is this. That Mustang, the last one I think made 215 horsepower. 5.0, I think. So why does it make 215 and the truck make 199? Because it had a different cam. It had a different cam. And uh, people say, damn, they go black. He all why he always talking about cam? Because that's where the power comes from. You know, I was watching a video the other day where the guy um, had a 1500 heavy duty Chevrolet pickup truck with a 6.0 and he installed a hotter cam. And I'm like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. There's only so much horsepower a stock engine is going to make. Without boost, you have to install a hotter cam if you want substantial power. You know, this is going to confuse the hell out of y'all. It's going to confuse the hell out of you. My EcoBoost with a turbo makes 325 horsepower, right? If you took the turbo off my engine, I wonder how much horsepower would it make. I wonder. If I had to guess, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 225 if I had to guess. So, again, if it was normally aspirated, normally aspirated making 225 horsepower, how would you get it to make, say, 250? You would change the cams. I said, you would change the cams. Why do I say that? Because you have some young folks who want to correct you. It, it doesn't have a cam. It has four. Dre, y'all have a good day. I'm going downstairs to fix my damn garage door. I'm going to make a video of me fixing it. I may not be actually fixing it when I make the video, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Dre, y'all have a good day. Bye.